Scaling Context Science is a comprehensive database that provides contextual information on hundreds of today's most significant science topics. It draws students into the subject matter by integrating pure information with today's headlines and videos, showing how scientific disciplines relate to real world issues in relation to everything from weather patterns to obesity. The database also covers practical experience, including experiments and projects of different skill levels. When you come to search Galen Context Science, you will come to this homepage. Here, you can see the topics of interest area of the website. These featured topics give a snapshot of interesting articles with links to more information. Below this are links to a selection of other areas of interest and topic pages. Here, you can click to view individual topic pages or to browse all topic pages here. If we click on the topic page for cells, for example, we are taken to this page where all of these media types are listed below. You can also search for topics using the search box. Here you can type in your search query and click search. As you start typing, suggested searches will appear. The ones listed in bold indicate there is a specific topic page covering that search, which you can click on to be taken directly to. As well as making a simple search, there is also the advanced search option which allows you to construct more complex searches. Let's say you want to search the database for information on amino acids. In this box here, we can enter amino acids as our first search term. From this drop down box here, you can choose which field you wish your search term to appear in. And here you can select different Boolean operators. To make our search more specific, we may want to search for amino acids but specifically in relation to proteins. So to do this, we can enter proteins as our second search query. Once you've entered your search term, you have the choice to search now and generate your results. However, below, there are more search criteria you can use to make your search more specific. Here, you can select by publication type, and here you can select by publication date. There are also the options to refine by document type, content type, and also by content level and lexile measure. This allows students to make sure they are viewing the most appropriate sources for the level of learning. Once you've entered all your advanced search criteria, you can click search. At the top of the page here, we can see all of the search terms that we've entered. And over here, we have the option to enter additional search criteria. As we scroll down, we can view all the sources our search has generated and what sort of content type they are. Here we have everything from reference, audio files, biographies, news, images, academic journals, videos, and magazines. These bracketed numbers indicate how many sources have been generated in each content category. As we scroll through, we can also see each source is listed with its publication details, publication date, length, resource type, and also its content level. To view a source, such as this one called Proteins and Enzymes, we simply click into it. At the top, we again have all the publication details listed. Down the right hand side of the screen, there are suggestions to related articles and subjects as well. We can translate the article by clicking here and selecting the language from the drop down box. To make this font smaller, we can click here and click here to make it larger. We can click on the speaker icon to have the text read aloud to us and we can use the seek bar to skip ahead in the article. Here we can adjust the volume and this allows us to, to download the file as an mp3. To hear only a portion of the text being read aloud, Use your mouse to highlight the part of the text you wish to hear before pressing listen. Along here at the top, we also have the option to share the article to Google Drive, OneDrive, as well as to email the article to yourself and others. This is a great tool for group work and for teachers to share resources with students. This icon also allows students to download the article as a PDF. As you read through the article, you will notice that certain words are highlighted in blue. These are words and terms that are linked to related topic pages and articles. If you click on the term, a list of these pages and articles will appear, 
and you can click through the ones you wish to read. As you read through, you can also highlight portions of the text and add notes. This highlight and notes button up here allows you to see all of the highlights and notes you've created throughout the article. At the end of the article, you'll find citation information, which can be copied and exported in a range of formats. Below this, you will also find related articles. This citation information can also be found up here, which again can be selected and exported in a range of formats. Along the top here, we also have the options to send the article to Google Drive, OneDrive or via email, as well as to download the article, print it or get a link to the page. As well as using the advanced search, Scaling Context offers two other search functions. These include the publication search, for which students can search specific publications to find relevant content, as well as the topic finder. The topic finder is a great tool for students to use in constructing more nuanced research topics. On the Topic Finder page, we can enter our search term. So again, we'll enter amino acids. The Topic Finder works by finding related terms that are commonly searched in relation to our search term. This can be a helpful starting point in the early stages of research and can help students to uncover hidden connections between different topics. Once we've entered our search term, this pile of diagram will appear. Depending on what you prefer, you can click to view the results as a wheel. The presentation of results in this way makes it a great visual tool. The diagram displays the words and subjects found most often in relation to our search term, with the size of the tile representing how frequently the term is mentioned in relation to our search term. If we want to find out more about a topic displayed by the topic finder, for example, diseases, we can click on the tile and the relevant publications will be displayed on the right, which we can click to view. Note that this tile has also broken down into subtopics, which we can again click through to discover further areas of research. This is a great visual tool to help students discover the context of their search term or to uncover detailed hidden connections. The diagram is also a great way to find additional terms that are related to their search topic. I hope this video has been useful in showing you the different ways students can search Gale in Context Science. Make sure you watch our videos covering the other Gale in Context databases, which are linked below. To search Gale in Context Science for yourself, request a free 14-day trial from JCS Online Resources.